Welcome back in to another jewelry video. This is another jewelry jar, jewelry bag, whatever you want to call it. It all contains a discovery of sorts. We're going to look through here. This one I kind of have low expectations for, probably because I paid $80 for it and probably because it's pretty loose and I didn't actually inspect it and I didn't want my husband to inspect it either. I just wanted him to pick up jewelry jars that he has run across. And Houston is a humongous metropolis if you're not familiar. So um, he works on the other side of town. So whenever I am coming home, I hit my Goodwills. And whenever he comes home, I ask him, beg him, please stop and look for jewelry jars, jewelry bags. So we're going to get started on this one. Let me just show you the rings of the day. People do request that I show the rings that I'm wearing. And I am wearing a wonderful I believe these are black CZs or crystals. This was a wonderful gift from a subscriber who sent me a box of jewelry and I love this one. It kind of has an infinity look to it, figure eight to it. I really love it. This is a silver tone snake wrap. This is an old Dasco piece and I love that one too. It's got an old eagle mark on it. This was a wonderful gift. I never know if I'm wearing this backwards or not because it has that curve. So I don't know if I should wear it this way. I like wearing it the longer way though so i'm wearing it that way it's beautiful market sites on that thank you guillermo and then this is all um hematite i totally love hematite i i did not think it was anything special but i've seen so many beautiful pieces in hematite that i really do love it now another hematite piece native american absolutely gorgeous this one hematite as well and it looks like a black pearl it's just incredible there's that native american piece that i will show you in another video very soon again welcome welcome to all my new subscribers welcome back if you've been with me a while you don't know how much i appreciate your patronage your support of this channel let's get started all right i hope it's not too many broken things <laughs> but we shall find out right now i'll get it a little bit out of the way and just pick at it a little bit okay so let's start with a bangle that needs to be clean. It's just a costume piece, but it's pretty nice. I always love ivory colored jewelry, white jewelry. I think it's very cool. Oh my gosh, I really do like it. I love bangles. Okay, here's an interesting bracelet. Ooh, this is cool. This is very exotic. Should we test it? Let's test it. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's kinetic. It's fantabulous. Looks like an exotic coin on there. Oh my gosh, I love it already. I don't care if it's silver or not. And these hooks are always interesting. Usually when I've seen these hooks, they have been sterling, but we will test it. Let's do it now. That, yeah, that's a fabulous bracelet. I love exotic pieces like that. You will see many different kinds of testers. You will hear of people speaking of a color change. This kit that I have, which comes in this box, Puri Test. Can you see it? Puri Test, a big wooden box. This kit does not turn the scratch red or your cotton ball or your cut your q-tip red it turns the scratch blue because i'm using the 18 carat if i were to use the sterling silver acid which tends to turn a little brown and it's hard to see it it would eat it away if it's not sterling this does not appear like sterling on the coin but i don't know we'll see almost chalk light this may be sterling i'm happy already just with the coin well that looks like a nice scratch too okay here we go ready let's do the hook here looks about the same color seeing a little bit more golden on that but let's check it so let's get one of the beads and many people will speak of things turning red their cotton ball turning red that is not my kit's instructions and that hook does look a little gold doesn't it looks a little brassy so that may ma that part may not be sterling we don't know it looks like it's not turning blue and i used a lot of acid on that didn't i okay Let's see what we got i 
Looks like a negative all around, doesn't it? Boy, that sure looked pretty, though. Yeah, it, let me dry up some of that. Yeah, none of them turned blue on me. Be some kind of um, alloy. And I really hate using the word lower grade silver because there really is no such thing. <laughs> Honestly, I know things are um, things are marked 800 and all of that, but the standard for sterling is 925. There's even been talk of prohibiting people, um, not people, but industries and artisans from even using the word silver without the suffix tone because the standard is 925 sterling. So it's not silver, but just in the scratch, the scratch was very, very nice. I'm very surprised that it didn't turn, but it's not silver. It's just a very exotic looking bracelet. Love it. Really pretty. And I'm not sure what the coin is, but I'll let you look at that. Very cool. It has Arabic script. It's an amazing bracelet. It really is. Very nice Arabic script on it. It's very kinetic. It's beautiful, but it is not silver. And I keep neglecting to have my magnet close by. Your magnet is the first indicator that you are not worth looking at a precious metal piece. All right. Now we have a very warm, stretchy ring. It's a um, little leaf with some rhinestones. The rhinestones are all there. Ooh, not bad. Not a bad look. Stretchy rings can be quite pretty. Here's some howlite, dyed howlite. Howlite is a natural stone, but it's actually white. And it is used to imitate other stones, such as turquoise. This is a nice necklace, though. It's hand knotted. It's very long, so you could easily double that. I like. You really could wear it triple if you wore it with a shortener or double. And I actually like it long. I love long necklaces. That's very pretty. And again, see the matrix on a piece like this is kind of a brown. It does have a natural brown matrix, but they dye it in all sorts of colors. Very nice. A broken piece. So I really wish they wouldn't mix the broken things in here, but this is an enamel bangle. It does have rhinestones. All the rhinestones are there. Very nice good condition as well. I like the um, kind of an animal print on it there. I think that's pretty. Careful. What is this? Another stretch. Wow. That's different. It's like a little saddle ring. Well, that's exotic. Look at that. Stretch rings are fun. So let's see what else they have thrown in here. Oh, this is pretty. Very lightweight acrylic. That's really pretty. I like that. Kind of a, I don't know what you would call this shape of a necklace. I guess kind of a freshwater look. So I don't sell directly on the channel, but please contact me if you see anything that you think you would like to purchase. You can always just email me. What a cute little ring. I don't think it's silver or anything. Let me see if I don't see a mark on it. Very dainty little wonky heart. I believe it's just silver tone. So interesting. It looks like a little pop top. Fits me on my middle finger there. Here's another ring. This is another silver tone. Just a leaf design. And we've got some single earrings. I'll put those aside. This is interesting. This looks like a Chico's or something. It's quite heavy. Quite heavy. Wow, I like this one. Look at that. That is really pretty. Those are glass? They are indeed. These are glass cut glass crystals or 
rhinestones that is beautiful i love it i love this kinetic look here <laughs> reminds me of those old desk toys we used to have desk toys before we got computers <laughs> now we just play on our computers right do you remember when people had desk toys i still have one i have a wonderful magnetic uh, little bits of magnet and sculpts into different things that's what it reminds me of. And then they used to have these and you just kind of knock them around like that. That's a nice one. I like that. This is here. Oh, a ring. Nice. Doesn't look like silver though. It looks like one of those cheap Indian ones that have really nice stones, but they're usually alpaca. All right. And even the mother of pearl is kind of weird, isn't it? What is that? I've seen, oh, it's like the shell part. That's cool. I've seen those before. Definitely not silver on that. And it, it's even adjustable. And yet another ring. This one's beautiful. Is that a faux monogram? Looks like a faux monogram and it looks like a silver tone as well. Since I don't see any mark at all. I like it. I think it's a faux monogram. I think it's a faux monogram, a fogram they call it. Just some little squiggles and swirls and that's kind of pretty. I like that. It really is. And then we've got some more little cheapy broken rings. This one looks like it had something dangling. Doesn't look like gold, but let me take a look. Lots of dangle rings are made. Oh, it is gold. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Amen. WTJ14K. Okay, where's the charm that was dangling from it? I'll let you see that. Nice. Nice to get some scrap gold to the market. There it is there. I thought that could be gold because I know James Avery makes a lot of those little dangle rings. They were very popular. And they make gold and sterling. So there we go, 14K. And it even has the uh, maker. If you're familiar with the maker, let me know. But uh, hey, I think we can pay for the bag with the scrap gold. It's not a flimsy piece. I'll put that on for sure so I don't forget. Yeah, I think this is a silver tone band. It doesn't look like sterling, but it's not made very well either. Look at that. It's like wonky. All right, here's a chain. It's a stretchy bracelet. These are acrylic. They look like they're imitating some kind of crystals. A little wear on that. I may throw that in a crafter lot. That looks like something someone could do maybe some earrings with because they would be lightweight. They'd be perfect. Here's some earrings here that are matched. They're those threaded type. Very lightweight. I've a bra I like these, especially this one. It's not so wide. Some of them are very wide. Brass. Brass can shine up like gold, honestly. But I like the look of brass. It's got its own personality. No need to mess with it. Here's another gold tone ring, and it is very worn. Here's a stretch. Oh, this one's even losing its color on the beads. Pretty, though. Someone might like that. And it's still got a nice stretch to it. Still taut. Let's see what these pearls are. Oh, this is pretty. Little clusters. And little caged beads. It's vintage, but I think it's trying to look... I think it's more on the retro side. Yeah, I think it's more retro than vintage. Just trying to... Look back at the 50s and 60s here. It's kind of cute. It's got little acrylic crystals, clusters of pearls, and cage beads with pearls. I also like the little subtle color, more of an eggshell color. Some of these tassels are not dating well. They really are not, especially when they're not made with quality materials i kind of like this though but you can fix them who makes this one nobody no it's just got a little hammer dangle but it doesn't have a name 
you can someone suggested in my chat once a hair straightener will really spruce these up so if you like the tassels there's your tip of the day i like this right here i think that's pretty here's a tassel still with the wrap i love the chain it's a nice box chain on here so even if i don't like this tassel oh it's pretty though it's definitely imitating uh oh my gosh it's actually really cool look at that very exotic that is really pretty good idea to put that wrap back on there but it really looks beautiful it looks a little bit like a kendra imitation and it's in new condition as you can see the chain is amazing i really like it it's in really good condition and it is a box chain that's pretty let's see what this is kid jewelry looks like plastic a turtle she's cool she's a box oh my gosh she's a locket how cool is she oh my gosh she open do i push it in and then oh there it goes what in the world what is that maybe it's one of those you know i'm thinking when i see this you know the ones that they used to use in the victorian era where they would have like fainting smelling salts or whatever for the ladies that would faint because what else would you put in there it's like some kind of an absorbent thing let me know what you know but i think it's really cool and it shuts and then you have to push that little tip it looks really old that's interesting i like that look at that hmm let me know what you know about this what you think that may be because that is really pretty here's another ring this one better not be missing anything yes this one is sterling if possible and the other one looks like a brass and it is adjustable I'll polish that up though. It looks like it had a silver tone on it. Sometimes the brass polishes up very nicely. And here's a nice band. Looks like Mexican. It's not Native American. Native American usually 99.9% .9 of the time will not have an open stone in the back. But it does look like it's sterling and it is Mark 925 and actually has a uh, copyright SE. SE on the inside, so I'm not sure who that is. Probably some company of sorts. There's the 925, and over here on the inside, it says SE with a copyright. SE. It's a pretty ring, it's a little band. It is inlaid very nicely. It doesn't look like turquoise to me, even in the back. It looks either like block turquoise, which is a composite or an imitation, but regardless, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the, the wide band. Look how pretty that is. I love it. Looks like window panes or something. Very cool. So I believe we have two sterling rings so far and a 14 karat gold band i'm gonna put it over there here is what is that a bracelet a ring a little dangle brace necklace rather it's just a broken piece there hmm. looks like somebody was going to get crafty or it broke one or the other oh here's a cute ring flower it looks kind of tinny and it is adjustable. It would be really pretty spray painted black. <laughs> I'm serious. This time I am serious. Look at that. It's such a pretty ring. I really like it. Or should I leave it like this? With the yellow coming through. I don't know. Cool. It's like aluminum or something. I think it's cool though. 
I would not mind spray I'm definitely gonna see if I can find some spray paint we went spray paint crazy the other day and bought some things to do our garden art and stuff this one looks like silver tone yeah I can see the copper on it it's just silver tone little band and copper base there here's a bracelet looks like a, wants to be a jade color and kind of an imitation of hematite as well can you see the difference between the imitation and hematite a lot of people ask how do you tell the difference you can see it right there it's more it's darker it doesn't have that reflection that natural hem that natural hematite does what else we have in here a snowman on a chain oh my gosh he's cute he is kind of an overlay look here and on the inside you can see rhinestones he's quite heavy too that is so cute nice chain on there too very nice and sturdy heavy chain all right christmas jewelry box just got another just got an addition okay here's a pretty necklace oh i like that that's nice and heavy too i like the antique look on it i like the citrine color of the stones they are glass and it's a pretty color very nice look no maker on it but that's pretty i like that and what is this oh this is i think i've seen one like this before the color honestly someone asked me in my last video that i seem to like everything that's possible but i don't like everything <laughs> i don't like organza and i answered in her comment that i don't like siam dancer jewelry i don't like tibetan style rings either but i don't i hesitate to say that sometimes because you know people like what they like my friend one of my friends um who sells jewelry and actually sold me this amazing ring does not like native american she likes and she can appreciate its construction craftsmanship etc but she doesn't buy it doesn't wear it doesn't like the aesthetic and everybody likes what they like and i actually like this crazy thing it reminds me of ice i don't know so don't be afraid to say what you don't like i mean don't say it to the person who's wearing it at the time but no we do not i do not like every single thing i in jewelry but i like most of it this is very lightweight this looks like uh it was trying to be some kind of an exotic looking thing and this one is by 19 what is this is an interesting mark i've seen a few things in this mark i think it says 1946 or something um, 1946 it's probably a mall brand or something and these are movable so you can have an exotic looking piece there i actually like this by itself i would probably pull that off and put that on a torque or a short chain i really would and i'm not crazy about the ribbon threading thing i got another copper ring this one says love just a cheap little ring a little bangle some beads I got a few of these here's a red one i guess they look okay together huh let me put my there you go i think i would need another one though i don't know sometimes bangles do look good in twos though here's a ring i hope this one's gold what does this say high school phs could that be providence high school i went to providence high school Oh, for a year but i don't know let's see let's see if it's gold it's engraved ejt it's 10k bingo 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 yes we got our money back 
we got our money back here is the 10k scrapping this baby well i may put it up on ebay because sometimes some of these things are worthy of jewelry aesthetics this yeah and and class rings are highly sought after on ebay so let me throw it up on ebay and um see what the going rate is on gold but that is 10k let me see if you can see that i don't know if i put it on the upside or uh, there you go 10k awesome it's really cool too full step it's got the co company name phs and let me see the year 1926 I don't know. I can't tell if that's it. That's exotic and beautiful. Let me know if that says 86 or 26. I cannot tell. What What do you think that says? I think it's cool. And the blackened enameled high school ring. Wow, that's cool. Another gold piece. Excellent. All right, not worried now, not mad now. Here's another ring, but this is one of the cheapy ones, just like the one that was kind of worn. Oh, that is so cute, though. <laughs> if this wasn't so worn out, maybe I can polish it up. I don't know. It actually says, love you. That is cute. Oh, my gosh. Wear one in one finger and on the finger right next to it. That is so sweet. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see what else is going to pop out of here. Another ring. Oh, my gosh. Bingo. Okay, this is definitely a bingo bag if you're new here. Everyone knows I kind of just go over do the bingo thing when I get excited for James Avery or for gold. And this also looks like genuine gold. And if that's an M, I don't know what I'm going to do. Looks like a T. And I say that because my granddaughter's name starts with an M and so does my mother's. T, oh my gosh, it says TLC. TLC, it's such a cool ring. It is such a cool ring. It is not marked, but it looks like gold to me, and we will definitely test it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. It may have worn out or may have been sized. But it definitely looks like either 14 or 10. It's an amazing monogram on it. Look at the sides. How pretty is that? I love it. That would make a fabulous thumb ring if it fit. But I do not see a mark at all. It may have faded. It definitely looks like an old ring. It's funny how gold wears away my mother. My sister has my dad's class ring and it has worn so thin at the band but wow that is so cool i will test that for 10 start with 10 and then go to 14 and see if it's either of those very excited about that one. Oh, this has to be a j crew look at this this has to be a j crew this no 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 what does it say it looks like it says Lanny. Lanny. Last time I found an exotic name, boy, it was expensive. Let me know what you know about this name, Lanny. Isn't that correct? Lanny or Lori. Yeah, I love it. That is really cool. It kind of tones it down with the antique chain. Then there is a braiding of a silver tone chain inside. Every stone is accounted for excellence excellence here i love it it does look like the quality or of a j crew or better so that is very nice brass that's a cool piece i love when they juxtapose the super blingy with toned down brass yet another bangle i think i'm going to stack these up we'll find out how many we have in a little while there are three so far Here's a stretch orange bead ball. Oh, interesting. Look at this. 
I like this waterfall here. Let's take a look in here. Oh, look at this. He's cute. Oh, I like it. I like the, uh, I think this is Monet. Somebody put this on a Mo Monet chain. Ooh, very nice. I don't think that's original to the chain. Because this is a Monet chain. And this is not the quality of Monet, but who knows. So we'll take it off of there. And cute little owl, but it's broken. Very cheaply made. Definitely not Monet. Someone just married it to the chain. And I'm going to put that in the crafter lot. That'll make a nice addition. This one seems to have a little teeny wear, but sometimes the polish will do it justice. And it's a nice box chain by Monet. I could tell by the very unique closure there. Oh, I like these. They kind of resemble those chest plates. That's pretty. It's very long. That would go all the way down to your belly button. So it wouldn't actually drape like a chest plate. Since it's so long, it would go like this. Right? That's that. And yet another ring. This one also looks like a silver tone. The ring here with a pearl. And very black and sterling, I'll bet. Genuine pearl. I love it. That is so pretty. And let's see if we have a mark on it. This is old. The beautiful. It's kind of a brutalist design. I was going to say Victorian, but it actually has kind of a brutalist design. See? I think it is sterling silver. It's quite cute. Let me put it on. It's quite cute. I like it. I love pearls. Oh, it looks good with the hematite pearl. Maybe even together. Let's try it together. Yeah, that's cute. That is really cute. Oh, that's cute. That is really cute. My mother used to have a ring with a black pearl and a white pearl in white gold. She never liked yellow gold. She doesn't like silver either. I mean, she doesn't hate it, but, you know... In those days, it was gold. No one really used silver. We have a, I think, imitation jade here. Highly imitated. So much misinformation about jade out there. I haven't studied it fully, but I what I have read will just leave. If you ever sit and read about the counterfeiters and the faked jade and how it's treated and how they pass it off for real jade it's just it's disgusting so we're going to definitely call that fake jade still pretty in its own right okay here's another is this he, that yeah i think this is how light as well it's a little turtle okay so we had some turtles in this bag that's a pretty necklace Look at that. I like the carving. It, no, this one looks like imitation turquoise. And this is definitely dyed halite, also made to look like turquoise. But this one has like a different color, if you can see that. I love the way they use this bead here. Look at that. This is a pretty necklace. Any turtle fans out there? The turtle's a fascinating creature, isn't it? That's cute. And another ring. Oh, I got excited. I thought it was a James Avery heart ring, but it looks kind of faded out. This is an exotic looking earring. I hope we have the other one. Let me see what this is. It's got copper. It looks like it was trying to look like the um, string of hearts, I think it's called, by James Avery. But it's just a copper base silver tone. This bangle is cute because now we have two of them. I do love them. That's pretty. It's a very nice look. I have a dress with these exact colors. We have some, I don't think these are real. They're little pearls in there. 
They do not look real. Oh, I love this little fringe here, this tassel with blue acrylic, some little beadball chains, and then these are just uh, kind of a nylon cord of sorts. Looks like it's in great condition. I love it. I like the blue. I think it's cool. See how pretty that is? I think that's interesting. This will definitely make an outfit. Oh, I love it. We have uh, matching angel earrings. Well, these came out matching. Go into my Christmas collection. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. These are glass pearls. Rhinestones are intact. No maker. Look at that. That's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, this is a piece of the first thing that came off. Well, I guess it, well, I don't know. What is this? <laughs> Long and short. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, that's a pretty sound. Looks a little off, doesn't it? I think there's a piece missing. Yeah, it still looks off. I'm going to throw that in a crafter lot. Someone can dangle. So people have been making off the, I've heard some of my customers tell me that they like the mesh looking bib style necklaces and they buy them and fill them with charms. Interest. Well, is it missing stones? No. It's kind of worn though. You can spray paint it black and you have something totally new. Right? Some of the hooks are coming off. They have to be tightened. I'm not kidding about the spray paint. I haven't done it myself, but I know the thrifting queen does it. Here we go. Who is this? A little Egyptian revival look here. Yes, I like anything with the crescent. I really, really do. I think it's such a fabulous look. Especially something like this. I would really like that in an enameled. White or cream enameled. Love it. Another ring. I think it's silver tone as well. Yeah, definitely just a little pot metal there or something. A little black stone. It might just be enameled as well. Yeah, it's just some enameling on there. Here's a little band with some stones. It looks like they're all there, which is nice. But it is silver tone as well. Little stacker rings. That's a beautiful earring. That looks like a very nice set of rhinestones there. But it is a single right now. And here is a butterfly. A gold stone on it. Let me see what this is. Very cute piece. I like it. I love that gold stone. It's nice and dark. Yet another ring. Just a gold tone earrings oh my gosh we've got some shoulder duster earrings here Ooh, not bad love long earrings love the shoulder duster look these are cool look at that my daughter was wearing some the other day a lot bigger than these are beads i think they're pink and white beads so there we go there we go, shoulder dusters. Wow, can you even see those? I'm trying to hold them up and hard to hold these, but those are super long. I guess they're about five, six inches long. They are cool though. They really are. Nice and sparkly there. I think we got two of these bangles too, or together. Two enamel bangles. Those are cute. What is this? That's cute. Looks like a Sarah Coventry from the chain. But no. What is it? Oh, it's a Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia makes very nice quality jewelry. I like it. I think it was trying to go retro on us with this look. Not only because of the use of the orange, but... It's a nice puffy medallion there. 
I love the retro colors on this. Chain is nice. Are all the stations there? They are. And it's kind of in the blondish beige gold. That is pretty. I like that. That's a nice one. Too. I think we got the match on these exotic earrings. Oh, pretty. Are all the dangles there? Let's make sure. They appear to be there. Yep, they are. They are really cool. Looks like somebody put a sterling hook on this earring. I may have to test that because sometimes I need the sterling hook. And here's another little mall costume. I like the brass chain. This is this is plastic, literally plastic. But I do like the chain. I have some much more interesting pendants I could put on that chain. Then, what is this, a panel bracelet? Oh, that's pretty. It's not vintage, but it's very pretty. There it is there. I think it has a very good style, though. It doesn't hug the wrist. So, I don't know. These... Unless you have a bigger wrist, maybe it would sit better. They kind of protrude, so not good for me. This is interesting. These are worn, though. But these beads are worth saving. They're very heavy glass. So I'll probably put that in a bead lot. And this is by someone. Let's see what it says. Kisaka. Kisaka. That's actually what it says, Kisaka. The black beads are not good quality, but these are. Kisaka is the brand. Very heavy piece, so I will very likely put that in my bead lot, and someone can salvage these right here. Those are gorgeous. This is interesting. It looks like Jasper there. This could be a Chico's. Oh, it's got one of those magnetic style. This is cute. Almost looks like um, a lariat or a bolo. Cute. Looks like it's got some jasper, maybe carnelian, maybe just beads, imitation beads. I don't know. I really do like the jasper, but I do see some wear on this. Yeah, I'll try selling it first. And of course, disclose what I'm concerned about. They're raveling around here, but the beads are amazing. Look at that beautiful jasper. Of course, I think the blue turquoise looking beads are imitation. Then we got this little coconut shell thing. I did get the, um, this one, see, it's got the same, it's got the same hook. So I think I'm going to take them off because I have a pair of, earrings i could be wrong but um, if not they are cute earrings actually i'll fix them back together if they aren't sterling and then we've got some more of this crazy wannabe jade stuff pretty though these are pretty in the earring i kind of like that did we ma oh they match these up kind of worn though probably put those in a crafter i feel like this disc is a little bit too worn but someone can make earrings out of those too that look like shells. Oh, a bracelet here, a necklace. Oh, this is pretty. It's got a nice deco look to it. No maker on this one, but this one is in great condition. I really like it. It almost looks like a little celestial chart or something, doesn't it? Very good condition. The, these are prong set. The rhinestones appear to be intact. Yeah, I like this one. It's a nice look. It's very different. Not your typical rhinestone necklace. Just a little bracelet. 
maybe even anklet since it's got the extender. And these are modern rhinestones, you can tell by the quality of them. A few unmatched earrings, right? This was a winner. This was an absolute bingo card winner. I can't believe all the gold. I'm going to test this one, but I'm certain it's gold. The other ones are marked. Of course, I will test them. But um, honestly, these old rings were made well. That one's nice too. And this one is 14 karat. This one's beautiful regardless. It reminds me of the gold one I had on the other day that I wear often. And then the pearl is gorgeous. I love the setting. It's kind of a brutalist setting. I am so pleased. Amazing jar. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, and even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up if you will. You know, hit that bell for all notifications, and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for popping in for another video. Bye.